securing a lasting ceasefire, demining, prisoner exchanges and elections in the Donbass. These were the main topics discussed by the Trilateral Contact Group in 2019. In the first half of the year, the negotiations stalled. Combined Russian army units and separatist forces blocked the construction of a bridge in Stanitsa Luhanska. Negotiations were only revived in September. The demining of approaches to the bridge is complete. Fortifications are being dismantled. This allows for preparations and subsequent repairs to start. The only bridge connecting the government-controlled and occupied territory was finally opened in November. It's a landmark mission. We are showing that we don't only want to do something, but we're doing everything we can to improve the lives of all Ukrainian citizens. Ukraine has also started the disengagement of forces according to the Minsk agreements. The militants disrupted the process several times by shelling Ukrainian positions. There was no unity on the issue, neither among the Ukrainian military nor among local residents. For me, the Ukrainian armed forces mean our safety now. They have been here with us for five and a half years and on their positions. We know that we will be protected. Now our people don't know anything. That is why I'm against the withdrawal of troops. If the ceasefire is observed for seven days, and if we see that the other side is ready to withdraw, and there is an order from above, we will withdraw as well, if necessary. However, the other side doesn't really want this, unfortunately. The Ukrainian armed forces were eventually withdrawn, on the condition that they will return back in case of provocations. Yevhen Mohda, a political scientist, explains that the troop withdrawal was one of the Kremlin's demands before reopening Normandy format talks. I don't think that Ukraine won from this, because our soldiers keep dying, despite the disengagement of forces at three spots. And Volodymyr Zelensky himself said that if the disengagement was to be conducted along the entire contact line, more than 400 kilometers, it would take years. After the disengagement of forces was completed, the information about the upcoming Normandy format meeting was voiced. The leaders of Ukraine, France, Germany and Russia met in Paris on December 9th. Last time the summit in this format was held was back in 2016. According to Ukraine's former Minister of Foreign Affairs, Pavlo Klimkin, the main achievement of the Normandy format negotiations was the very fact of their reopening. The renewal of Normandy summits is a positive thing. A conversation is better than a lack of it. It's important for Zelensky because Ukrainians want him to talk to Putin. You want this and so do I, because this is what the president of a country in war should do. According to the results, it was a draw, but it gives us an opportunity to enter the next round. In Paris, Zelensky and Putin also held a bilateral meeting. The Russian president voiced a number of demands that were unacceptable for Ukraine, such as amending the Ukrainian constitution, giving a special status to the Donbass and amnesty for militants. I would like to voice a number of principles which I never violate as president, because the Ukrainian people would never agree to that. The first one is the impossibility of federalization. Ukraine is a unitary state. It's an invariable article of the constitution. The second one is the impossibility of anyone impacting the vector of the country's development. The third one is the impossibility of compromises on the settlement of the situation in the Donbass through giving up parts of the territories within internationally defined borders. The main result of the Nomadi negotiations was the prisoner exchange between government-controlled Ukraine and the pseudo-republics of Donetsk and Luhansk. On December 29, 76 people returned to the Ukraine-controlled territory, 12 soldiers and 64 civilians. I honestly thought I was dreaming, but it turned out to be real. I'm free. I only started realizing it here while we were on the road. I did not believe this. I'm very happy. Thank you. The next stage of the Minsk negotiations will be held on January 16th, and the Normandy format meeting between country leaders is expected to take place in the spring. By that time, new sections for the disengagement of forces should be determined. Reported by Yulia Krychkova, UATV. Okay, okay.